today we're going to be taking a look at communicating with the serial port in node now all you want to do to do this is import a package called serial port and you want to import this package called at serial port slash parser dash read line and the reason why you want to do this is because the serial port package will give you the raw serial port data and essentially what this package does is just format it and make it a bit more nice and easy to work with and there's a few different other parsers and I will leave the link to those down below and pick whatever one makes more sense for your format but the next thing you want to do is define the serial port so the first parameter you will need to provide is the com port now if you don't know what your com port is you can go in device manager and yes I know this is in Danish but just for the gist of it and find your device and for me this is my device and I can see that it's on com port 3 and to get the board rate go in here and then you can see the board rate here or if that doesn't work go ahead and try to find it on your manufacturers if let's say it's a coin machine maybe the board rate will be there and the next thing is actually to the find that read line parser and all we do is we take our port and pipe all of that data into our parser so it will be able to format it and then we subscribe to the on data event and all I do is just read that line and print it out to the console now you could of course have done whatever you wanted with that event but I just decided to print it out to the console and next I actually print print to the serial port. Now let's go ahead and run this application so you can see what it actually does. So you can see it's very simple. Essentially it writes to the serial port and then it reads it back out. And you will notice that this part has been added on and that part actually comes from my Arduino code. So of course it would be different if you had like a coin machine, you wouldn't be able to write the code for it and you will have to figure out how to work with it. But we're not gonna be going into that in this video, but I will go ahead and quickly show you the Arduino code which is running this example here. And the code is pretty simple. Here you go. I'm not going to be explaining the code, but here's the code. It's very simple. Now, I do want to say if you are doing the Arduino, there is a package called Johnny5, which you might want to look into. Essentially, it does all this for you, and it also does a whole lot of other things. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.